Coming up with good questions is often challenging and we want students to be challenged in our lessons so we want them to come up with good questions. There are lots of ways in which we can help students to do this, in which we can help unlock the process of developing good questions. Let's look at two examples. The first one is a game and it's called if this is the answer what might the question be? Here we invert the usual game that we play in the classroom where we pose a question and students give us an answer. Instead of that, we give students an answer and we ask them to come up with one or more possible questions. For example, I might be teaching a Year 10 Sociology lesson. So I start the lesson by displaying social class on the board. And I then say to students, if this is the answer, what might the question be? Students then have to think about how they could construct a question for which social class might be the answer. Now I would encourage them to do that in pairs so they're discussing their ideas and coming up with a range of possible questions before settling on one which they think is the best. What the game allows students to do is practice the process of constructing questions. And you can increase the level of challenge by adding in caveats. For example, we might display social class on the board, then say, if this is the answer, what might the question be? And then add in the additional caveat, something like this. You must come up with at least two questions for which this could be the answer, and both questions must be completely different from one another. So you see there how we've increased the level of challenge, and we're really pushing students to think in more depth about how we construct good questions. Another technique is to create a crib sheet containing past exam questions and to collate those into separate sections. So for example, let us imagine a past paper which has a part A, a part B and a part C. We create a crib sheet and that is divided into the same three parts. Part A questions, part B questions and part C questions. We then give this crib sheet to students and we use it to do various things. First of all, we encourage students to analyse the different types of questions to see how they are constructed, what kind of formulations are used and what impact this has on the kind of answers which are expected. Second, we ask students to develop their own questions using the crib sheet as a starting point. And third, we might decide to get quite creative with this and invite students to come up with questions which they think are better than the questions from the past exam papers. So with each of those tasks we're encouraging students to analyse and deconstruct the questions and in so doing think about how questions are formed, how they're constructed and therefore how they can ask good questions themselves. Golden Nugget. Coming up with good questions is often challenging and we want students to be challenged in our lessons.